steps first, right? If you want to uh, go to the top of the mountain, you have to climb the steps, right? So similarly, if you want to get near to God, there are three important steps that you have to put in your mind. First step is you have to understand that you're a sinner. You have to get notified and you have to remind that you are a sinner. And from that sinner, you know, from sin conscious to you have to go to subconscious. That means when you, uh, yeah, from the, as the psalmist say, from the birth that the sin was started, you know, no matter what you are going through, no matter what circumstances you do, the psalmist said, from the birth of my, from my birth, the sin started, you know, you know, there are some things that, you know, that sin that which we cannot able to, you know, when the people think that, yeah, I am more good. No, your good is called as a dustbin, as the Salomon said that, you know, no matter what you are going through, you have to understand that you are the sinner first. So second step, and you have this foremost step, you have to believe in your heart and say your mouth as your Jesus, as your savior, so that your life will be a blessing. So how it will turn into a blessing, you know? Uh, from the sin conscious to sun conscious, you know, when you receive Jesus Christ as your savior, your life will be changed from one point of time to another point of time. That is one direction to another direction. How it will change? The moment that you accept it, the moment when you receive him as your savior, that moment onwards, he will take a lead. You just, you know, you just sit on the car, he will drive it and you know, he is a sailor of your life. No matter what you're going through, just ask God, just uh, go into his word and he will guide you as as the word says, you know, his word is lamp to the feet and you know, that light to the way, no matter what, no matter what you're going through, when you receive Jesus Christ, he will lead you through the Holy Spirit. That's what the uh, that's what Bible says, no matter what you are going through, when you receive the word, just apply it in your life so that your life will be a blessing to the generation. Third thing is, third and foremost thing is, you have to turn, you know, when you receive a salvation, that immediately what they will say is self-righteousness. I am doing this, I am doing good, I am, you know, my goodness is like this, my kindness is like this, you know. You will, uh, you know, you sometimes the people will mislead from the sin uh, sin conscious to self-righteousness no no matter there are three steps uh, sin consciousness self-righteousness and some righteousness some consciousness after the self-righteousness you have to remember that you are not the center of your life you have to remind that jesus is the center of your life after receiving jesus so you have to put your all faith together you have to do everything for his glory no matter what work you're doing every work should get the glory by to god no matter what you're going to no matter what you're what you're doing just remember you're doing for the glory of god from self-righteous to sun righteousness no matter what you're going to from sun righteousness to no no matter where you are going you have to remind in your heart that not me, but my God is the center of my life. After receiving your life, Jesus, God will lead you and bless you.